my dear brothers and sisters today we are going to reflect many verses of the word of god which is connected to healing all those who need healing all those who are praying for healing not down all these words of god which we are going to reflect today for the whole adoration not it down somewhere and repeat it every day as for a healing touch of the lord the lord's healing will come to you therefore make sure to write down every verse that you are going to listen today during this holy adoration and repeat it along with us and also every day at least for two or three months and repeat it every day with faith the lord is healing you you will see the miracles happening in your personal life you will never be disappointed for repeating these verses of god the word of god and you are going to experience the healing touch so please make sure that you write down every verse which we are going to reflect and read and repeat praise the lord praise the lord let's read this word of god jeremiah chapter 17 verse 14 Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 14 repeat after me heal me o lord heal me o lord and i shall be healed and i shall be healed save me save me and i shall be saved and i shall be saved for you are my praise for you are my praise the word of god says if you praise god the word of god says heal me o lord i shall be healed save me o lord i shall be saved because you are my praise anybody who prays god there is a healing and salvation comes to you so the word of god says because you are my praise for you are my praise you are my praise therefore heal me you are my praise therefore he save me so those who praise god the healing and salvation will come to them and that is the meaning of this word of god let's repeat this word of god once again jeremiah 17:14 jeremiah 17:14 heal me o lord heal me o lord and i shall be healed and i shall be healed save me save me i and i shall be saved and i shall be saved for you are my praise for you are my praise let's read first peter chapter 2 verse 24 first peter chapter 2 verse 24 we read like this First Peter chapter 2 verse 24 we read like this He himself bore our sins He himself bore our sins in his body in his body on the cross on the cross so that so that free from sins free from sins we might live for righteousness we might live for righteousness by his wounds by his wounds you have been healed you have been healed praise the lord praise the lord Jesus suffered in his body because we will be free from sins and just like his wounds are salvation for us by his wounds we will be healed so two things that we need to remember get rid of every sin from our body if there is any sin that we are entertaining in our lives get rid of it or repent about it go for confession then we will be united to the body of christ then through his wounds we will be healed So anybody who is waiting for healing make sure that you get rid of every sin that you are in every unholiness every uncleanness every unwanted sins that we have in our body should be washed away through the sacrament of confession and make sure that we go for confession and get rid of every sin then the lord's healing will come to you just like his wounds were healed our wounds also will be healed through his wounds we will be healed repeat after me he himself bore our sins he himself bore our sins in his body on the cross in his body on the cross so that so that free from sins free from sin we might live we might live for righteousness for righteousness by his wounds by his wounds you have been healed you have been healed praise the lord praise the lord let's repeat isaiah 41:10 Isaiah 41:10 let's repeat this word of God do not fear do not fear for i am with you for i am with you do not be afraid do not be afraid for i am your god for i am your god i will strengthen you i will strengthen you i will you. help you i will help you i will uphold you i will uphold you with my victory torres right hand with my victorious right hand anybody who is frightened of your sicknesses anyone who has nobody next to you or nobody to help you anyone who is so scared of your sickness and future and your health and your your life and all those who are weakened and all those who have no help remember repeat this word of god with convictions the lord's help will come lord will strengthen you the lord will uphold you let's repeat after me do not fear do not fear 
For I am with you. For I am with you. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. For I am your God. For I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will strengthen you. I will uphold you. I will uphold you. I will help you. I will help you. I will uphold you. I will uphold you. With my victorious right hand. With my victorious right hand. Isaiah forty one ten. Isaiah forty one ten. Do not fear. Do not fear. For I am with you. For I am with you. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. For I am your God. For I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will help you. I will uphold you. I will uphold you with my victorious right hand. With my victorious right hand. Let's believe in these words of God and repeat these verses and also the coming verses that we are going to reflect today. Let's repeat this word of God Jeremiah 33 verse 6. Jeremiah chapter 33 verse 6. We read like this. I am going to bring it recovery and healing. I am going to bring it recovery and healing. I will heal them. I will heal them and reveal to them and reveal to them abundance of prosperity and security. Abundance of prosperity and security. Let's repeat this word of God with conviction. I am going to bring it recovery and healing. I am going to bring it recovery and healing. I will heal them. I will heal them and reveal to them and reveal to them abundance of prosperity and security. Security. abundance of prosperity and security i am going to bring it recovery and healing i am going to bring it recovery and healing i will heal them i will heal them and reveal to them and reveal to them abundance of prosperity and security abundance of prosperity and security hallelujah hallelujah psalm 147 verse 3 let's read this word of god psalm 147 verse 3 we read like this He heals the broken hearted He heals the broken hearted and binds up their wounds and binds up their wounds all those who are broken all those who are wounded the Lord himself will come and heal you of brokenness and will bind up your wounds repeat after me he heals the broken hearted he heals the broken hearted and binds up their wounds and binds up their wounds he heals the broken hearted he heals the broken hearted and binds up their wounds and binds up their wounds let's read psalm 103 was 224 let's read psalm 103 was 224 repeat after me Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Oh my soul. Oh my soul. And do not forget. And do not forget. All his benefits. All his benefits. Who forgives all your iniquity? Who forgives all your iniquity? Who heals all your diseases? Who heals all your diseases? Who redeems your life from who, the pit? Who redeems your life from the pit? Who crowns you? Who crowns you? With steadfast love and mercy. With steadfast love and mercy. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Repeat after me. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Oh my soul. Oh my soul. and do not forget and do not forget all his benefits all his benefits who forgives who forgives all your iniquity all your iniquity who heals who heals all your de- diseases all your diseases who redeems who redeems your life from the pit your life from the who pit who crowns you who crowns with you with steadfast love with steadfast and love mercy. and mercy bless the lord bless the lord oh my soul oh my soul and do not forget and do not forget all his benefits all his benefits who forgives who forgives all your iniquity all your iniquity who heals who heals all your diseases all your diseases who redeems who redeems your life your, from the pit your life from the pit who crowns you who crowns with you with steadfast love with steadfast love and mercy and mercy hallelujah 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 thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus love you jesus love you jesus james chapter 5 James chapter 5 verse 15 to 16 verse 15 to 16 the prayer of faith the prayer of faith will save the sick will save the sick the prayer of faith the prayer of faith will save the sick will save the sick the lord wants us to have faith is not just repeating the prayers or repeating the word of god but it is having faith there may be non christians and many people joining in this live streaming The Lord is asking do you believe in me? The Lord is asking you Jesus is asking you do you believe in Jesus Christ? Do you believe Jesus Christ is the savior of this world? Do you believe only Jesus can save you? Do you believe Jesus is the only savior the only salvation in this world? If you don't start believing it from this moment tell yourself yes i believe jesus is the only savior for the humanity sent from the heavenly god heavenly father 
the prayer of faith the prayer of faith will save the sick will save the sick and the lord will raise them up and the lord will raise them up 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 from death raise them up from sicknesses and anyone who has committed sins and anyone who has committed sins will be forgiven will be forgiven for healing for forgiveness of sin is a must the lord is the only one who can forgive the sins so confess your sins to the lord confess your sins go for sacrament of confession make sure you make your confession at the earliest every one who is sick make a good confession at the earliest therefore therefore confess your sins confess your sins to one another to one another and pray for one another and pray for one another so that so that you may be healed you may be healed the prayer of righteousness is powerful and effective the prayer of righteousness is powerful and effective the lord says confession sacrament of confession is a healing process sacrament of confession is hey has got the power of healing the sacrament of confession has the power of healing the more you go for confession with repentance the more the healings are released to you everyone who is sick and bedridden go for a very thorough confession of your life make a good confession of your life first you have to make a good confession is very much important when you make a good confession the healing comes to you the lord will heal you that is what the word of god says therefore confess your sins to one another and pray for one another so that you may be healed because when you confess your sins you become a righteous person when a righteous person person pray pray his prayer is powerful and effective the prayer of the righteous is powerful and effective praise the lord praise the lord let's read 3 John chapter 1 verse 2 3 John chapter 1 verse 2 let's read this word of god beloved beloved i pray i pray that all may go well with you that all may go well with and you and that you may be in good health and that you may be in good health just as it is well with your soul just as it is well with your soul god says your soul is well with you, well and then your body also will be well as your soul is well your health is going to be well so how can you make your soul well by making confession sacrament of confession and eucharist you can make your soul well then your body also will be healthy god will heal your body praise the lord praise the lord thank you jesus thank you jesus jeremiah chapter 30 verse 17 let's read jeremiah 30 verse 17 we read like this for i will restore health to you for i will restore health to and you and your wounds and your wounds i will heal i will heal says the lord says the lord because because they have called you they have called an you an outcast an outcast it is zion it is zion no one cares for her no one cares for her i will restore health to you i will restore health to you and your wounds i will heal and your wounds i will heal praise the lord praise the lord let's thank the lord almighty as we repeat this word of god Let's read this word of God Matthew chapter 10 verse 1 Repeat this word of God The Lord has given authority to every disciple this authority Then Jesus summoned his 12 disciples Then Jesus summoned his 12 disciples and gave them authority and gave them authority over unclean spirits over unclean spirits to cast them out to cast them out and to cure every disease and to cure every disease and every sickness and every sickness my dear brothers and sisters the lord has given this authority to cast out evil spirit and authority over unclean spirit to cure every sickness and disease the lord has given authority to his apostles 12 apostles i am from the 12 apostles through the laying on of hands it is handed down to the successors of the apostles and all even to the priest all those who have received this authority through the laying on of hands therefore this jesus who healed 2000 years ago he is not just gone to heaven he is made available for you through the successors of the priest and dis- disciples and the priest the apostles the bishops and priest 
the lord is made available for you and he is the one who is touching you and blessing you every time when a priest blesses you he is the one who is praying for healing when every time when a priest pray for your healing he is the one who is casting out the devil from your body every time when a priest cast out the evil spirits praise the lord praise the lord he is made available for each and every one of you believe this praise the lord praise the lord thank you father thank you father praise you father praise you father let's also read verse 8 of the same chapter verse 8 let's read this word of god cure the sick cure, cure the sick raise the dead raise the dead cleanse the lepers cleanse the lepers cast out demons cast out demons you received without payment you received without payment give without payment A give without payment the lord has given the same authority to cure the sick raise the dead cleanse the lepers cast out demons praise the lord praise the lord the lord has given us this authority let's use it proverbs chapter 4 verse 20 to 22 Let's read this word of God Proverbs chapter 4 was 20 to 22 Let's repeat after me my child my child be attentive to my words be attentive to my words incline your ear to my sayings incline your ear to my sayings do not let them escape from your sight do not let them escape from keep your sight keep them within your heart keep them within your heart for they are life to those who find them for they are life to those who find and them and healing to all their flesh and healing to all their flesh remember the word of god says keep my words in your heart incline your ear to my saying means listen to your ears listen to the word of god through your with your ears see the read the word of god with your eyes repeat the word of god with the mouth then it should not dis- escape from your sight always this word of god should be in front of you do not let them escape from your sight that is why many people write the word of god in on the wall in your rooms and in your homes in the wall post everywhere the word of god is written and stick it because every time it will be in front of your sight keep them within your heart if you do this if you repeat the word of god read the word of god listen to the word of god and see the word of god and repeat the word of god then they are life to those who find it it is life for them and also healing to all their flesh it will it will bring healing that is why i told you in the beginning of this adoration today i told you every word of god which i'm going to repeat today you have to write it down somewhere not it down somewhere and repeat it for healing all those who are sick all those who are seriously sick you can give it to others who those are sick if you yourself is sick take this word of god write it down and repeat it every day for at least for this coming 3 months you will see the miracles happening in your body the lord's healing will come to you because this word of god is healing to all the flesh let's read psalm 6 verse 2 psalm 6 verse 2 repeat this word of god psalm 6 verse 2 Be gracious to me O Lord be gracious to me O Lord for I am languishing for I am languishing O Lord O Lord heal me heal me for my bones are shaking with terror for my bones are shaking with terror be gracious to me be gracious oh to Lord, me O Lord O Lord for I am languishing for I am languishing O oh Lord O oh Lord heal me heal me for my bones are shaking with terror for my bones are shaking with terror praise the Lord praise the Lord let's repeat this word of God second chronicles chapter 7 7 verse 14 7 2 chronicles chapter 7 verse 14 repeat this word of god if my people if my people who are called by my name who are called by my name humble themselves humble themselves pray pray seek my face seek my face turn from their wicked ways and turn from their wicked then ways then i will hear from heaven then i will hear from I heaven i will forgive their sin i will forgive their sin and heal their land and heal their land my dear brothers and sisters for healing and deliverance there are some conditions condition is first one humble themselves second one pray third one seek my face search for word of god search for the truth search for jesus search for god for what eucharist and fourth one come out of the sin go for confession sacrament of confession reconciliation if you do all these four ones four conditions 
the lord says i will hear your prayer from heaven and i will forgive your sins so again forgiveness of the sin is a compulsory need of the healing praise the lord praise the lord thank you jesus thank you jesus let's read repeat this if my people if my people who are called by my name who are called by my humble name humble themselves humble themselves pray pray seek seek my face my face and turn from their wicked ways and turn from their wicked then ways then i will hear from heaven then i will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will forgive their sin and heal their land and heal their land thank you jesus thank you jesus let's read psalm 100 and 7 was 20 some 107 was 20 let's repeat this word of god 107 was 20 he sent out his word he sent out his word and healed them and healed them and delivered them and delivered them from destruction from destruction he sent out his word he sent out his and word and healed them and healed them and delivered them and delivered them from destruction from destruction praise the lord praise the lord thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus so the lord heals through the word of god that is why i told you to repeat the word of god write down this word of god and repeat it every day because he's sending his word and you are taking it and reading it he sent his word and healed them and delivered them let's read gospel of luke chapter 4 verse 18 Gospel of Luke chapter 4 verse 18 The spirit of the Lord is upon me. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because because he has anointed me. He has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. To bring good news to the poor. He has sent me. He has sent me to proclaim release to the captives. To proclaim release to the captives. Recovery of sight. Recovery of sight to the blind. To the blind. To let the oppressed go free. To let the oppressed go free. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. this is what the lord has is adore authorized and the lord is authorizing us with this praise the lord praise the lord let's read psalm 30 verse 2 psalm 30 verse 2 we read like this psalm 30 verse 2 O oh Lord my God O oh Lord my I God I cried to you I cried to you for help for help and you have healed me and you have healed me O oh Lord my God O oh Lord my I God I cried to you I cried to for you for help for help and you have healed me and you have healed me Praise the Lord Praise the Lord believe in the lord and believe that the lord has healed you and repeat this word of god oh lord my god oh lord my I god i cried to you for help i cried to you for and help and you have healed me and you have healed me anybody who cry in front of god for help the lord will heal you god will listen to your prayer philippians chapter 4 verse 6 to 7 let's read philippians chapter 4 verse 6 to 7 repeat after me Do not worry about anything. Do not worry about anything. But in everything. But in everything. By prayer and supplication. By prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving. With thanksgiving. Let your request be made known to God. Let your request be made known to and God. And the peace of God. And the peace of which God which surpasses all understanding. Which surpasses all understanding. Will guard your hearts. Will guard your hearts. And your minds. And your minds. In Christ Jesus. In Christ Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. Praise Jesus. Praise you Jesus. Thank you Father. Thank you Father. Let's read this word of God Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 to 8. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 to 8. Let's repeat this word of God. Trust in the Lord. Trust in the with Lord. With all your heart. With all your heart. And do not rely on your own insight. And do not rely on your own insight. In all your ways. In all your ways. Acknowledge him. Acknowledge him. And he will make and he will make straight your path straight your path do not be wise do not be wise in your own eyes in your own eyes fear the lord fear the lord and turn away from evil and turn away from evil it will be a healing for your flesh it will be a healing for your and flesh and a refreshment for your body and a refreshment for your body the lord says trust in the lord don't think about only your rely on your insights but rely on god in all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your path do not be wise in your own eyes fear the lord and turn away from evil then healing will come to your flesh there are some conditions always remember to get healing to get healing there is conditions condition is this turn away from evil repent of all the past sins the lord is healing you 